Alright, what's up? Welcome back. I know at least a couple hundred of you are watching, so that's nice. Um, these came in yesterday, and so I had a ton of foam came in because I've been having some slight issues as far as shipping, particularly those foam wings. A lot of the shipping guys tend to beat up on the boxes, so I'm beefing up my boxing strategies and shipping strategies to try and reduce the amount of orders that arrived that arrived with some damage so this is like a half mile of foam <laughs> so this hopefully will last me a while because honestly it was quite expensive um, in the long run you know per package it's not that expensive but you know to buy it all at once this was the least amount I could buy um, so I gotta find a spot for this it's taking up a lot of room So as you see, I had a bunch of track mounts come in and I just unboxed them and I'm checking them out now. And it's good because they're what um, what I thought I was getting. Sometimes you never know what shows up, but these are the exact same dimensions as the ones I had been working with. So for example, I got two of them in here for the new track foil board we got. Um, so I ordered these for those and I'm also thinking of a adaptable uh, track mount so as you can see so imagine just the track part here uh, without the board so just this track part that you can epoxy on to say a board you already have to retrofit I know there's um, some track mount things similar to that and they use I think it's some sort of 3m at least in the pictures that's what it looks like some sort of 3m double-sided adhesive um, but some people report it doesn't quite stick great. So I'm wondering if you can epoxy on something and if that would be any better. So I might mess around with those at some point, but I will be getting the new track boards for whoever wants them. They're really nice, durable, small, and um, I'm willing to make them pretty cheap for people. So <laughs> look out for those. And real quick before I put these away, I am looking for a good nut that can slide in that slot that's down in there. So a stainless, ideally M6 nut. And I'm having a hard time finding bulk, um, you know, a bulk number of those. If any of you have any idea or pointers, I'd really appreciate it. I know some of you guys leave some comments. I occasionally go through there. And some of you guys are really helpful with, with what you say. So if anybody knows of anything, that would be a huge help. And where we left off yesterday, I was, or the, not yesterday, a few days ago, uh, we were talking about the making that new stabilizer. And this is a piece of stock that I just glued up uh, just to test it out. I really don't know what the best and fastest way to do it is. I, I don't know how the design's gonna even cut on the machine, so um, I'm really not doing it efficiently right now. I'm just kinda experimenting. I, a lot of you guys left some comments about some potential better ways to do it. I agree with a lot of it. I thought of some of it. Um, it's just kinda in an experimentation phase at the moment. Uh, but I'm going to throw this on the machine as well. I do have to do some emails beforehand. And then also I've been working on some long boards. Um, and this is one that I have, am in the process of doing. And what makes these a little bit unique is normally a long board is just kind of pressed plywood to give it some shape. But I went for a, so you glue it up solid and then mill out the shape. So it might be, hard to see on camera but it's got a nice concave to it and then when you glass them like a surfboard uh, it really gives it like a nice lively springy feel and i've had a couple people who actually know what they're talking about as far as the longboards go get on these things and they really seem to enjoy them so it's a little bit different something new that i'm working on i don't know if 
anyone's going to be interested in it, but at least I am at the moment. So that's, that's what's keeping these projects going. Okay, so here is my stock and I'm just going to place it on this raised PVC board and I'm going to try and hold it with some tape. I do the boards with tape, that works out pretty well. Um, so we'll see how this does. I'm just lining up the stock. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So I actually did forget that I had custom, uh, or I had designed the stock size so it's not square, so it saves a bit on the machining time. So after I started that, I only ran the program for maybe 20 seconds and then said, all right, I gotta, I gotta cut the stock because if I leave a bunch of stock here where there's not to put, where the program doesn't think there's stock, Oftentimes a bit, uh, it might jog or move very rapidly into that stock, but it doesn't think it's there. And it can sometimes knock the piece off of, or it'll take it off of the hot glue, which I'm using here. So gave it a trim to avoid that issue. Okay, going pretty good. It's supposed to take, um, I think it was just about 16 minutes-ish at the speed that I'm running. So we'll see. So the top side came out pretty well. Um, you can kind of see where we're going here with the profile. Uh, a couple little issues was I was running the bit both ways. Um, kind of sometimes speeds things up, but it can lead to some chip out on certain areas. So we can see there, and then on the opposite corner, the same things going on. Um, so when I I just programmed the other side and I took out so we're not going both ways we're gonna go one way to hopefully reduce some of that chip out and the next time I should probably change the top as well it's not that much faster in this piece but I know on some of my especially like the larger foam wings it can be a lot faster to go both ways instead of instead of one way so on to the next side I'm probably just going to fixture it with some sort of block in the center and then just two screws through here because this just below this top surface is where the top surface of the stabilizer is going to be so if I sink a couple screws in like three or four centimeters into the wood um, the bit will go over that hopefully <laughs> I've hit a few screws in my days but uh, that I think is the best way to do it or at least the the quickest and dirtiest way to do it right now. So for first go, I'd say this went very well, actually. I can't remember the last time something went that smoothly on the on the first try. Um, I, lo I like the shape. It's kind of got it. I, now it just needs a little bit of a fine sand. And it does look like, yeah, so you can see it, this is here that's not on this side so when I mounted it in that jig it probably wasn't perfectly it was probably let's see low on this side by I mean it might be a millimeter um, so that's something to take note of for the next time but yeah this looks pretty good now you know as a trial I like it now I just kind of need to figure out a better way potentially mountings um, so I don't have these holes but then the speed also comes into effect as well. These aren't the these aren't so terrible because when you're glassing this part, this is just going to get filled in anyways. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'm gonna probably sand this one up and glass it up and, and give it a test. <laughs> 